Information is vital. Stay tuned. Be enlightened. Be encouraged. Hello, once again, welcome to Ultimate Wellness, where I'm your ultimate host, Dr. Jim Carlson, Buddy Bones, fighting a fight against the medical establishments and their profound, abysmal, egregious dietary ignorance. This, the whole gist of what we're doing here, the common denominator here, the bottom line here, we, we, we're looking at obesity. Uh, I want to help people understand obesity. We're trying to help people lose weight. And along with that, lower your risk for heart disease and type 2 diabetes and whatnot, reflux esophagitis, that heartburn thing, help you with blood pressure and all that. But really, we started this whole thing. Uh, it's all about obesity. Uh, one of the organizations I'll quickly look at, whereas if you follow the dietary guidelines, you won't lose weight, you'll probably gain weight, and you'll wind up on medications. This is the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services dietary guidelines, and the, the bottom line here is they follow the same basic pattern, they disseminate the same basic information that the other organizations are disseminating. We spoke about the Surgeon General, the American Heart, the American Cancer, the American Diabetes, the American Osteopathic, American Medical, the National Institutes of Health, the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute. And now we're here with the United States Department of Health and Human Services. You know, I, I love the mission statements. Feel better today, stay healthy for tomorrow. I love it. I love it. Make smart choices from every food group. I love it. Mix up your choices within each food group. Sounds okay. Find your balance between food and physical activity. Yeah, sounds good. Now, here's where they tend to go astray. Get the most nutrition out of your calories. Well, Calories are irrelevant, and this is another organization, or, well, this is actually the United States Department. This is the governmental here, all right? Uh, uh, play it safe with food and all that. You know, almost immediately, they get into, say, make smart choices from every food group. They get into the uh, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, fat-free or low-fat milk. If you're looking to lose weight, and obesity is a major problem, not only in America, but around the world as well, if you're looking to lose weight, you need to avoid these things. You can't listen to these recommendations because every time you eat these foods, these carbohydrates, these disguised sugars, it's going to prevent you from losing weight. So please don't eat these things. And it's, you know, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, fat free, you know, make up your choices within each food group. And it says here, and this is actually highlighted by me, it says focus on fruits. And the problem you run, run into here, it's saying eat a variety of fruits. They're talking about a 2,000 calorie day diet. Listen to me. Calories are irrelevant. It's a combustion process. It's not a digestive process. Tufts University, in the beginning of these segments here, ran an article about calories, how the caloric intake might be a little bit more than what we thought. Well, you know what? Waste of a study. Why don't we take that money, why don't we take that money that we wasted for Tufts University research and, 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 and shelter the homeless. You know, feed, feed the hungry. And I'm not even, this, this is ridiculous. We're wasting money on these, these studies that aren't helping us at all. But basically, they're highlighting, underscoring the dietary ignorance out there. We're talking about obesity. A common question that comes up that Bones asked me was, you know, what's ketosis? Ketosis, right? Now, physicians, when they hear ketosis, they go, oh, ketosis, you can't be in ketosis, dangerous. What physicians are thinking about is something called diabetic ketoacidosis which is a ketotic state or ketosis state that is life-threatening in diabetics. There's a benign dietary ketosis that one gets into when they're eating low carbs. The medical establishment in their infinite wisdom, and I use that term loosely, that is the wisdom term, thinks that ketosis in any shape or form is bad, and it's not. Ketosis simply occurs when we're utilizing fat for the production of ATP. Notice I did not say when we burn fat for fuel. You don't burn anything. You utilize fat, triglycerides, for the production of the all-important biomolecule ATP, which we use for our life source. Okay? When you burn fat for fuel, oh, did I say that out loud? See? This is how, this is how ingrained it can become. You know, when you utilize fat for the production of ATP, you'll create ketones. Ketones go in the urine, you urinate them out, and that's ketosis. How long should I stay in ketosis, people often ask me. I look at them right in the eye and I say, forever. By golly, the Inuits, the Eskimos, stay in ketosis their whole life. Ketosis is not dangerous. I love this, when I hear physicians speaking, usually at conferences they'll say, 
Yeah, well, ketosis is okay to help you initiate weight loss, but um, uh, sometimes we want you to not be in ketosis and lose weight. So, you know, you can lose weight, but don't go into ketosis. And I'll look at him. I'll oftentimes raise my hand. I go, excuse me, um, that's kind of like telling somebody to take off all your clothes, jump into the lake, but don't get wet. You can't lose weight without making ketone bodies. I strive so hard to not use the words burn or fuel, but it's so ingrained in us as physicians that I slipped up a few minutes ago and said that. All right? You don't burn fat. You utilize it for the production of ATP. Ketosis is not dangerous if you're, if you're in it when you're losing weight. Um, you know, one thing uh, that, that I see a lot when I send patients for blood work is that there'll be ketones in the urine. And my colleagues will freak out. Oh my God, there's ketones in the urine. I go, listen to me. They were fasting. They were burning fat. It's normal. It's natural. Once again, Dr. Jim Carlson, Mr. Bones, fighting the fight against the medical establishments, the government, and their dietary ignorance until we meet again. Thank you. Until next time, be enlightened, be encouraged. Don't worry.